Hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a little day in my life, night in my life vlog. It is Friday, I am home from work, and we did some home improvement. I just cleaned the house a little bit and I figured why not vlog? Sean is at work and I've got like a bunch of random things that I wanna get done tonight. But I did just vacuum, like I said. Great, what am I on, my third week of work? Great week of work this week but I'm definitely ready for the weekend. I'm very glad that it is Friday. It has been so, so, so rainy. It just stopped, but now it's like a thousand degrees and it's so muggy, so we're gonna stay inside for now. But I just went and got some curtains. We got a test pack last night. Sean hung them up and then I was like, you know what, let's just get more curtains for the other windows. If you guys don't remember, we have, I mean, they're still on there, but we just had the sheer curtains and it got really hot in here. We have old windows. And so that, and also like, sometimes you just don't want like a bright glare on the TV. And so we wanted an option to have blackout curtains. And also now like the window is full, the curtains were really thin before. I'll show you in a second, but I just hung those up. I need to finally clean out my jewelry and just like my bathroom in general. I just have a lot of like expired skincare and things like that. So I wanna clean that stuff out and use my new jewelry box and just like get everything organized. Sean did his side of the sink yesterday and it just looks really clean. And now I'm like, mm, I wanna do mine. So we'll do that. I need to paint my toenails, my gel from my wedding. Finally, I peeled it off. It was so overgrown. Um, it lasted so long, but we need to do my toenails. Right now I just have glue on nails. Um, they're nothing exciting, but I'll tell you what, they've held on for like a full week now at this point and they're great. So we don't need to do our nails, but I am gonna do a little gel pedicure for myself. And then we'll unbox some packages maybe, I don't know. I can show you a couple things right now. Ugh. First is from Divi. You guys know I've used their scalp serum for a while, so I'm super excited that they sent me another one. And then their dry shampoo, which I have never used. Um, but I mean, if it's anything like their scalp oil, it's good stuff. So definitely gonna try this out at some point. And then, oh, Divi is available on Amazon now too. Um, then I got some goodies from Giorgio Armani. These are, I think it's three different shades of the Luminous Silk Concealer. Two of them are multi-purpose glow concealers and one is a perfect glow concealer. I don't really know what that means, but let's pull them out and see. So this one is in the shade six. Um, my mom has all of my makeup still from my wedding. She is bringing it this week. So we'll do a clear out of that too when it, all of that gets here. But this one is the multi-purpose glow. So it's a little different packaging. This one's like a matte glass. And then this is in the shade six and a half. And then this one's 5.75. So I'm not sure what shade I actually am, but I'll have to try these bad boys out as well. So that's pretty much all I've got for you for right now. I do have an exciting package that I'll go through in a couple minutes. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go through it now as well. Why not? And that way I can thank the sponsor of today's video. You guys know them, you love them. I've worked with them before, Anna Luisa Jewelry. But I'm very excited because I did get a few pieces for my mom. Like I said, she's coming down next week, so I'm really excited to give her some jewelry. So she just does a lot for us, and I feel like, you know, if I can spoil her with some jewelry, why not? Talked about it before, they are a New York-based company. Um, their quality is phenomenal. I wear their jewelry all the time, don't take it off, and I've never had any issues with tarnishing. They also have a really great warranty policy and return policy, so literally there's no reason not to go shop. You guys have heard me talk about them until I'm basically blue in the face, but first up is these earrings, which I don't have the name of them, but all of their stuff is their website's gonna be linked in my description so you guys can check it out. But they are these gold and like diamond earrings, like rhinestone, uh, not rhinestone, what's the word I'm looking for? I think they might be like cubic zirconia, I don't know. Really nice earrings. They are like a double hoop basically for just one hole. 
and I just, my mom, I think is gonna love these and has a lot of jewelry that goes with this. So I'm very excited for her to receive these and see what she thinks, but here they are. They're fantastic. And she is constantly talking about how she needs like jewelry for this event or that event. So she's a busy gal. She socializes a lot. I simply cannot relate on that aspect. Next are the Paris small hoop earrings in gold. They are like a really pretty, like classic braided hoop. If you can see, um, I just think they're gorgeous. And again, they're gonna look fantastic on her. And then last but not least, I've got, this is actually for me. It is a gold S necklace. I figured, you know, now that I'm a married gal, I can get a little necklace for Sean. So this is for me to wear, but it's a little S, golden S necklace. They have like a bunch of necklaces with letters, numbers, um, just like a lot of really great classic pieces. And also their packaging is so cute right now. So the earrings, these earrings like came in a little box like this. So cute. But if you are in the market for a gift for yourself or someone else, you know what I always say, Ana Luisa is the place to go. Like I said, amazing quality. You just, I hate jewelry that I have to worry about taking off. And with Ana Luisa, I don't have to worry about that. So you guys know some of my favorite pieces are the horseshoe necklace that I have. I also have a number three necklace. Um, I have a bunch of bracelets and anklets from them. So yeah, I'm very excited to be working with them. Thank you again, Annalise. Anna, I cannot speak. I'm brain dead from a long week of work. Thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. And like I said, check out all of the information in the description box. But let's go do our toenails okay, i don't know if it's really going to show up that well on camera but before we just had these like sheer curtains and they didn't even cover the whole window and it just like never really looked right so now we got the green ones for this room and you can see right here too let me turn down the brightness um you can see them right here as well now if we want to fully close them and make it black out we can but it still lets in a lot of light and we can also move everything to the side. So the green ones are in here. We're not 100% sure if we're gonna keep the same colors, but I liked that the green tied in the green here and then I'm gonna get pillowcases to match instead of the blue. I think we actually have some green ones somewhere. So I just need to figure that out, but yeah. And then in the other room, they didn't have any more green ones and also Sean was like, well, let's do blue in here. Again, we're still deciding, but I feel like it ties in some of the like blue-ish tones in the kitchen. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we do. He's, Sean, I just FaceTimed him at work to show him and he's like, well, I kind of like the blue. I just don't know if they had enough blue for the living room also, so. I don't know and they really weren't that cheap i think it was like 60 total for these ones and then these ones were like 50 each window so like 50 per two pack so i mean i don't know how expensive curtains are to me those seemed kind of expensive but we got them at target they are functional it's just a matter of they're so wrinkly because i literally just hung them up but it's just a matter of what we like color wise so that's what's happening. And then I just cleaned the house a bit. Now I'm gonna put on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Hello, Miss Guard Dog. And paint my nails. I am going to paint my toes in this like light blue gel color. Also, it's killing me that we still have this up, but Rita loves it so much that I feel like I just can't take it down. It's literally been up since Christmas. If you guys know when we lived in Buffalo, if you watched back then, she had a Christmas house there too that she just like was obsessed with. And I kind of want to like put it away and just take it back out on Christmas. But I just feel so bad because she loves it so much, you know? Also, this is destroyed. I want to try and figure out a way to like not reupholster, but just take this scratch part off and like replace that because that's a mess. She just scratches at it all the time. <laughs> You can literally 
really see my sweat through my shirt. I'm a sweaty mess. I just did a workout in the garage. I did a 12, 3, 30 walk. Just feeling like so tired today that that whooped my butt. So I don't even know if I talked about this, but I slept like crap last night. Our smoke detector went off in the middle of the night, which is terrifying. Sean, being the firefighter that he is, got up to make sure that like the house wasn't on fire or it wasn't like carbon monoxide or something. Like I still right now have no idea what happened. It went off like once quick. And so we were like, okay, maybe like the battery's just going. And then it like went off for a little bit and he came out here and was like, what is going on? But knock on wood, everything seems okay. But because of that, I didn't sleep very well last night. So I'm a tired gal, but I'm glad I got that workout in. You know, even 30 minutes of just like moving your body sometimes feels great. So, but now I need a shower because I'm disgusting. So I think I'm gonna go shower and then we'll go through and clean the bathroom, which sounds not that fun, but I'm hoping I'll feel better when I'm done and it'll be worth it. I don't know, fun Friday night plans. It is, what time? 5.30 right now. So we have plenty of evening left. I would like to read a little bit too tonight. I don't know. We shall see. Um, update on the aura ring. I'm liking it still so far. I just feel like it still is really trying to like understand my body. So I can't really use it to its like full potential yet. It's only been a couple weeks. So it like doesn't have what I feel is like a normal baseline for me yet. Like it definitely displays statistics and like has told me about my sleep and things like that. Um, and I find that from what I can tell it's accurate. I just Feel like I need to use it longer before I can give like a full review. But as far as like it's comfortable, I can move it from like a couple fingers. Um, I'm glad I got the size I did. I ended up getting an eight. I was between a seven or an eight, but just like when I, you know, like for example, like on that walk, like my fingers swell up when I'm working and like my fingers are hot and sweaty and I'm going in and out of gloves between patients. I just didn't want it to be like uncomfortably tight. I wanted to be able to like comfortably make a fist and like move around and yeah that so i just wanted to give you guys a little update but let's go shower and then i will come back and we will go through and clean out the bathroom because i fear that it is in desperate need okay so i've laid out my jewelry i've got some anna luisa ones in this little pouch and just like all the things so i'm going to organize this this is my new jewelry box so my plan is to consolidate everything into this guy that it's nice and organized. You can see in here, everything is just like kind of a mess. I have like my vitamins, um, like just random cosmetics. Like I just need to clean this up. I was going to go in and clean out this closet, but honestly, it's pretty organized. There's a lot of crap, but it is very organized. And I really don't think there's a lot of excess stuff that like isn't where it's supposed to be. So for now, I think we're okay there. And then once I clean this up, we can go through and kind of organize this a little bit and get rid of some things out of here as well. Because like I said, I think some of the skincare may be expired. My makeup, I can't really go through until my mom brings my bag of like excess wedding makeup so that I can really do like a deep dive of what I wanna keep and what is not good anymore and what is unopened and things like that. So that will have to wait but I will do my best to try and narrow this stuff down as well and organize like my hair stuff over there. I figured I would show you guys some of my other favorite Ana Luisa pieces. So this horseshoe necklace and this three, I was wearing nonstop for months, every single day. And you can see they are not tarnished. They are not like in any sort of condition whatsoever. This one is really pretty. It's like an opal, almost like sunburst necklace. This one I wore when we were in Europe. Hold on, this is actually two necklaces together. This one I wore when we were in Europe. It is so pretty. The little seashell charm is so cute and I love a pearl. This is like a little interlocking gold necklace. Then these pieces I think are so cool. It's like a gold chain ring and bracelet, almost like a watch band, but without the watch. Let's see, I've got two little bracelets with flowers. One is gold, one is silver, and then this one has pearls on it. And then I've got some earrings. So we've got these really cool gold hoops, these just like classic mini gold hoops, and then these I think are so fun like emerald green and a pearl earrings. 
So I just wanted to show you guys that, but I am still organizing away, trying to condense everything into here. This is so satisfying. We did it. Voila, we did it. It's very much condensed to what it was. I feel like it's pretty good, but I mean, we have to redo this whole bathroom, you guys. It is like, it just needs to happen at some point, but that time is not right now. I have the hiccups. And then down here from the previous owners, there was like staining down here. Oh my gosh, these hiccups. But I condensed my skincare into anything that wasn't expired or wasn't clean skincare. And this is just like the stuff that I actually regularly use right now. So current skincare routine is in there. Oh my gosh, these hiccups. <gasps> Jewelry's right there, hair stuff, all organized. I've got my new slip scrunchies up here to try. I'm very excited. And yeah, that's that. Also, this isn't like secret. It's just a post-it from Sean for my first day of work that I still have up. Oh my God, these hiccups. Okay, goodbye. But I'm very happy I did that. It feels really good. It is the time of the evening where I figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat for dinner. Because cooking for one person is so difficult and I'm also lazy. I, let's see, what do I have in the fridge? I don't think I have like any leftovers that I have to eat. We have like fruit and stuff, but I've been snacking on that. I'm not in the mood to just eat fruit for dinner. Um, what else do we have? We do have these vegetable goyoza dumplings that do look pretty good from um, HelloFresh. It's like our extra this week. But I don't know that I'm really in the mood for that. To be honest, I'm kind of in the mood for pasta, shocker. And... I don't know if I have anything to make it. Hi Rita, it's almost time for your dinner. I mean, I think I have like pasta sauce somewhere in here. I do, but it's like, do I wanna open a whole pasta sauce jar for just myself? With a little bit of spaghetti or something. I also do have goodles, like protein mac and cheese, but I don't really know if I'm in the mood for that. I am in the mood for like a red sauce, honestly. So I guess I could open this bad boy up. It's a Rao's or Rao's. I always say Rao's. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I've heard both, but we have a homemade marinara that I'll just add like fresh garlic to and some seasonings. And then we do have protein spaghetti already open. Do I have any of these other ones open? No. So I think this is probably my best bet here. It's either that or we do have like an old pasta roni, which is like angel hair pasta with herbs. No, I want red sauce. So we'll just make that. Shocking, I know that I'm having pasta, especially when Sean's at work, but that's okay. It sounds really good. So I am going to boil some water and then I'll probably make the sauce. I'm going to chop up some fresh garlic and whatnot. I feel like I need to make the sauce in a little pot as well. I'll do that in this little guy. So, BRB while I just fill this up with water. I just remembered I have fresh Parmesan, so I can do freshly grated Parmesan cheese on top, which is amazing. I just got out some Italian seasoning, onion powder, and red pepper flakes to add to the sauce once I get that going. And I'm just gonna cut up a crap ton of garlic because I love garlic and I truly feel that you can never have too much. So, I'm just gonna chop a bunch of this up and put it in the sauce. I will simmer this with some oil in a second and then add the sauce.
Yummy. I definitely made too much, but I will put the leftovers in the fridge. It is bedtime and I think I'm going to make this a weekend in my life vlog instead of just a night in my life because if I ended it now, it would be very short and boring. So I'm gonna continue this vlog throughout the weekend. It is the first Bills game this Sunday. We might decorate for fall tomorrow. I'm not sure what our plans are for the weekend, but I'm gonna just keep the vlog going. So I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is Saturday morning and it is time to decorate for fall. Sean is napping. He had a long night at work, so he is sleeping in there, but I figured I would get everything out and show you guys what we got. So first and foremost, I put away the summer candles to make room for the fall candles. So we've got this new one from Target. It is called Cinnamon Pumpkin Muffin and it's a really cool jar. And then of course the OG, my favorite, and I have two more of these leaves. And then this little spiced pumpkin one is almost out, but I think what I'm gonna do is scoop out all the wax and put it in our wax warmer. So this will be the scent by the front door. And then as for pieces that we have, so I got this at Dollar Tree last year, I think. Um, it just says welcome. It does look like it's peeling. So I am going to probably put some glue on the back of that before we put it up near the front door. All right, and we have two bins of stuff back here. So let's see what we got. This little pumpkin mug. I've had that for a really long time. We've got some pillowcases. I think we bought these last year. So we'll put these on the couch pillows. So we've got two of those. Um, we've got some battery powered orange lights. I'm not sure where we're gonna put these. See if they still work, they do. So we'll figure out a place for these. Oh, this is a candle too, I think. So we have this guy. Yes, it is. Oh, it smells really good. So we have this pumpkin candle. Um, we've got, oh yeah, I bought a bunch of fake flowers last year to go in our vases. So I'm gonna have to figure out where these all go. But we have a bunch of fake fall flowers. Very cool, forgot I had these. My grandma made us two fall wreaths a while ago, so we've got these to find a spot for. A bunch of these like little pumpkins. So I think I put these in the vases last year too, I don't quite remember. And then these 3D bats, which I really wanna use again but I still have residue from the sticky tabs on my window. So they were very difficult to get off. So we'll see if I end up putting those somewhere. But that is everything from the first little bin. And then in the next bin, we have this fall blanket that can go out. More pillowcases. These are just like orange flannel checkered. Two little pumpkin like catch-all dishes, like little dishes. I don't remember where I put any of this stuff last year. We've got this Harvest Blessings pumpkin truck like sign. Oh, a big bowl that needs cleaned, but it's like a big candy bowl. I think we got this last year. Some tea towels that I am also gonna clean. Oh, I forgot that we bought these last year. So our pumpkin plates are coming back out. I'm trying to be quiet, but it's not working well. Um, a little trick-or-treat mat. I think I put this by the fridge last year. So 
some more tea towels to wash. This little bowl, I do think we have a couple of these. We ate ice cream out of these last year. <laughs> This goes on the wax warmer in the front. Here's these bats that I was talking about that I don't know. They're cute. They just leave a lot of residue. So we need to figure that out. A little pumpkin pail. I think we used this to pass out candy on Halloween last year. We have so much stuff. This little locally grown pumpkin sign. A ceramic pumpkin. More booze, please. This definitely went on the bar cart, I think. A witch lives here with her little monsters, aka the pets. This big guy. The star of the show. A big Halloween house. It does light up. Poison cup. I don't even know where this came from. I think my mom gave this to us. Our tombstone salt and pepper shakers are coming back out. Pumpkin little garland. Some more pumpkin garland. Boo, I think this went on the fireplace if I remember correctly. Um, skull battery powered lights. Pardon that brief interruption, but last couple things are this really spooky skeleton that has a suction cup <laughs> and then some plush pumpkins. So I don't know where the heck we're going to put all this. I don't know how we fit this before, but I'm going to try my best. And I think while I do that, I'm going to put on Harry Potter on the TV, just in the background to kind of get into like the moody vibe. But now it's the struggle of which Harry Potter do I put on? have to pick one but I don't know what I'm feeling hello ma'am are you excited about all of this she just wants to go under the chair because there's a blanket and she thinks it's a fort <laughs>
the next day. I decorated and then by the time I was ready to show you guys everything, it got dark and I was like, I'll just wait till tomorrow because we didn't do anything last night. So now I'm gonna show you where I put everything. Tell me your thoughts. Here we go. Okay, I've tried everything I can to not make this foggy, but it is just so humid out, but you get the idea. Let me see, I can try and wipe it really fast one more time. So we've got the welcome sign here, the bats. I ended up hanging them with just tape, as you saw, instead of the tabs, so that it'll be easier to take them off. I'm gonna wipe this one more time. <laughs> I hung a little wreath there and the little treat bucket. Okay, let's go inside. Then on the entryway, we have the little wax warmer, fake flowers. I might get something for the bottom of this vase just because that looks kind of funny. I did keep one of the pompous grass things here just to kind of balance it out. And then the famous Halloween house, Sean's favorite piece that we own. It does light up somewhere. I think there's like battery lights inside. Here's the view from the living room here. Um, I kept the cowboy boot there just because I feel like it's kind of fall and it's also cute. Then moving in here, I put the other wreath right there. The couch pillows are very cute. Cranky Sean. Cranky. You seem cranky. Tired. Um, yeah, so there's the couch pillows. There's really nothing else in here. I tried to hang the orange lights here while Sean was sleeping yesterday and they just looked tacky, so I took them down. Then moving in here, we've got this little setup, the little pumpkin jar, the candle, and the other fake flowers vase here. We've got, let's see what's in here. The mat, the trick-or-treat mat in front of the oven, the fall tea towels, the tombstone salt and pepper, our new candle, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there, but for now, it's right there. And then a witch lives here with the little monsters is there. Then, oh, the pumpkin sign is right here, just next to the sink. And then moving in here, the fall blanket that kind of brings out the blue in the curtains, so leaving that in here for now. The little pumpkin candle on the table with a little dish for the coasters behind it. Then up here, we've got this situation going on. So the plush pumpkins, the boo sign, and then the garland. We forgot these. Yes, oh yes, in the kitchen. I forgot that we had those, how excited are you? I love these plates. Yeah, the plates and the bowls are in there. We also have a mug and I ended up washing it. Our big spider bowl are in here, and then we have a pumpkin mug. So these are clean, I need to unload those, but those will go somewhere. Then the bar cart. You should probably throw out the, the candy from last Halloween. <laughs> you wanna show them the Halloween candy? I don't know if it's I don't know, does bad. candy go bad? That's so funny, we bought way too much. We did not have that many trick-or-treaters. So I hung the skull lights up top, the pumpkin garland here, this little sign in front of the skull decanter. And I just put the Harvest Blessing sign in here because it, again, brings in the blue. I feel like it kind of goes with the vibe, so that's that. And then if you're curious where I put the other pompous grass jars from the front, for now, they are in the spare bathroom, just as regular decor. But I think that's everything for now. And I'm probably going to end this vlog here. We are just going to the gym and then the Bills game is on. So I'm not gonna be vlogging much, but go Bills. I don't think I can keep my hair like this to go to the gym. This is how I slept in it. Um, yesterday, I mowed the lawn for the first time at this house. How did I do? You did good. It was a little crooked, but I did it in record time. <laughs> I just wanted to get it done and I was so sweaty. I then jumped in the pool with all my clothes on. So that was my evening last night and why I didn't vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life vlog. I feel like the fall vibes will continue. Oh, I almost forgot this little skeleton. I just hung him up on the window right here. Look at Rita, look at it. Look at her. It's like she noticed it when I did. I wonder if she's gonna hop up there and try to get it. Look at her. Oh, sorry, bro. 
That is so funny that she realized that at the same time. Look at her. I'm so glad I got this on camera. <laughs> okay, now I'm really gonna end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video with my messy hair. Bye. Beyond gravel, beyond